Hi everyone, it's Paula and I'm here in the Cricut Craft Room and today we are going to talk about working with images. So we're gonna hop right into Design Space so I can show you all the different awesome options we have for our images in Design Space. All right, so here we are in our Design Space desktop app and the first thing we're going to do is head over here to our Images tab. We're just gonna click on that and this is going to pull up a ton of different images. So all of these are images that we have in access. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab this deer head right here. So we're gonna click on that. So when you click on it and select it, it pulls right down here by our cancel and insert image buttons. Now, if you don't want this image, when I hover over it, it's got a big red X. You just click on that and it takes it right away. So we're gonna go ahead and add that back. Also, if you add that on there, that's on there until you leave the image screen totally, until you hit either cancel or insert images. So I can add this scientist, I can add this little peace sign, and as you can see, it's adding them all up right here. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of those extra ones, and we're just gonna work with this deer head right now. So I'm gonna click right over here on insert images, and it pulls the deer head right here up on my screen. Okay, so my canvas has this gorgeous little deer head here, and the first thing that we're gonna talk about is our line type right here. So line type is what you're doing with the lines in the image. Are we cutting, are we drawing, or are we scoring? Obviously, this wouldn't be an image that we would score, but it is one we can draw. So if we click from cut to draw, this is how it will look when it is drawn with the pens. So as you can see, it does the thinner outline of everything. And what will also happen is that anything here that was a cut line is now a draw line. So there won't be any cutting on this. All right, so we're gonna go back to cut. And also when you're working with images, Say you want to give yourself an idea of what your project is going to look like when it's finished. What you can do is you can take this and go up here to this little box right there and click on that and it can have you change the color. So we could have it in this lighter brown if you wanted a purple deer, but that'll just give, help give you an idea. This does not actually select the color of the material you will be cutting or drawing it only will um, change the color here on the screen for just for your own cutting purposes to help you visualize what the project will look like. Now, if we were to select our image, so when you select the image to work on it, all you have to do is just click on it anywhere on the image and it selects the whole image. Now, if we go back up to line type and we hit draw, it changes it again and as you can see, this defaulted back to the black. You want to click on that if you plan on using different colors. So you can go down here and pick from all of these colors that we have pens for, and it'll tell you if it's an infusible ink or if it's just a regular pen. It'll also tell you the font, or I'm sorry, the point side that you're using. So these are the colors for the fine point. But you can click here and you can do extra fine, the gel, the calligraphy, the marker, all of those items. We're going to go ahead and leave it on the fine point. But if we wanted to draw this in brown, we would just go down here until we found a brown. And let's see, this Indian red actually looks really pretty. So we'll use that one. And so what will happen now is if I hit make it, it's gonna take me to this screen. And then it's going to find my machine. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna click into this real quick so you guys can see what this looks like. So it's connected to my machine. And right here in our tools, it's telling me what color pen to put in clamp A. That is really important because you want to make sure, especially if you're using multiple colors, that you're putting the right pen in at the right time. So this is telling us to load the Indian Red pen into clamp A. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and go back to our canvas. Just cancel that cut. All right, now we're gonna talk a little bit about sizing. We're gonna turn this guy back into a cut file. And whether you're working with drawing or cutting, the sizing will work, basically work the same. So you have two different ways you can size. We can size here on, with this little, little button and we can move it back and forth to make it as big or as small as we want. That will hold the proportions in the same setting that it is. So it'll keep everything proportional, just make the entire image smaller. What we can do if we want to manipulate it a little bit more is click over here on this little padlock right there. If we click on that and unlock it, now this changes to four arrows instead of just two. Now we can manipulate it in any way like this to make it look how we want or fit in whatever we need it to. All right. So we're just gonna lock that back again. And now up here, I'm gonna show you the other place you can manipulate the size. Right up here, we have the size for width and height, and it tells you exactly what those sizes are. So we can change the width, and because it's locked, it will keep the proportion for the height. Now, once again, if we just unlock this little padlock there, we can manipulate it differently. So if I were to change this to a seven, it's going to change my width, but not my height. So that's another way that you can manipulate to make it look exactly how you want it to look. Those are the two options. All right, so we are going to say goodbye to our little friend here and we're gonna pick another image. So if, you if you're working on an image and you're just done with it, you're gonna try something else, all you have to do is click this little X here or click over here and just hit delete. Either way, that'll take the image off and you can start fresh. You can also just click new and it'll tell me there's always a pro there's already a project that's on the canvas that's unsaved. You can save it, replace it, or cancel and go back to what you were doing. This is another way that you can just hit replace and it'll start you on a brand new canvas. All right, so now we're going to find an image that has some layers to it. Let's go with something not too crazy difficult. How about this guy right here? I'd rather be sewing. That has some different colors. And so we're gonna insert our image. Now, as you can see, the image is all together. We'll make it a little bit bigger so we can see it easier. But we do have three different layers and we can tell there's three different layers right off the bat because there are three different colors. Now, if you head right over here to our layers panel, it'll show you the three different layers and, it can, and you can highlight them. So if we click on just this layer, it's going to show me, it's gonna have that little square just around the, that layer. And then if we click on this one, it looks like it's highlighting everything, but it's actually not. And then this one is just highlighting our hearts here. Now, if we wanted, say we love the I'd rather be sewing, but we're not crazy about all the little baby hearts in there. Now that we have this highlighted, this little eye right here means that the eye is open, so it's there for everybody to be seen. If we click on that eye, it closes it. So it removes that, it just hides it from our site. So it's still on our layers, we still have access to it, but it's off of our um, canvas. And if we were to cut or draw this image, it would not go to our make it, to our canvas screen, I'm sorry, our mat screen, unless we unhid it and brought it back. So once it's hidden, that means it's hidden from your view, it's hidden from cutting, from drawing, from everything. We can also hide the other layers if we want. So everything is still here on our canvas, it's just invisible to us. If you were working with multiple images and you, so let's go ahead and add just one more image in here just for fun. We'll pick this B because it's close. So we have our little B here on us and maybe we were working with that 
and we had some great things on there, but we're not using it with this. What we can do is just click this eye and once again, it hides it. So we didn't want to delete it. We just wanted to hide it from view. So we click on that little eye and it hides it for us. All right, now this is perfect for when you're wanting to change colors of something. Once again, when we're using a cut screen, all this is doing is for our own visual of being able to see how the project is going to look when it is completed. So when I click on this, as you can see, it doesn't really give me the option of picking a color because there's three colors. So if I wanna change the hearts to red, I'm going to have to come over here and click directly on this one layer and now I can go here to my line type where the color is and make it red. So now we have red hearts. And I can do the same with the other options. So for the rather sewing part with the big heart, we can change that and maybe we wanna make that this light yellow. So as you can see, we're able to manipulate our colors so that we can see what it will look like when we're creating our project. Now, if we were to take this and change it into a draw, it's showing you exactly how it's going to draw. It's only going to draw the outlines. It's not going to fill these in. But now over here, what we can do is change these colors so we can make it look how we want. This does affect your final project because this is gonna tell you what pen to load in. So we're gonna do that and then let's change the hearts. We'll change those, we'll find a cute pink. Let's do, oh, this raspberry's nice. All right, so now you can see all of our colors are different and when we go to make it, now, do you see how it's separated everything onto different mats and everything like that? If we want it to draw all together, we need to come over here, select all of these, and we want to attach them. So we'll get more into attach later, but when you're using your different colors, we want to attach those because then when we click make it, it's all together on one mat and it's going to draw all together like this. Now, if we click continue, it's gonna pull up our machine and it's going to tell us what to do first. So the first color that it needs us to add is the raspberry pen into clamp A. Then down here, it tells us additional tools we're also going to need the midnight pen and the red pen. So you, and then what will happen is when you go to cut, the machine will actually tell you which pen to put in when. It will stop, it will, the machine will flash, and it will tell you load midnight pen, load red pen. So it really does walk you through this very easily. So if you just follow the prompts on there, it will tell you exactly what you need to do to make sure that your project turns out exactly how you want it to. All right. We're so glad that you joined us and we hope that you were able to learn more about manipulating images when it comes to selecting the colors and hiding layers and all those kind of fun things, changing colors. So we hope that you'll stick around with us and take a look at our other videos to help you get started using your Cricut machine. Have a great day.